Okay, we're going to review a couple of uh, folding wagons. We have the Mac Sports Folding Utility Wagon and the Ozark Trail Folding Wagon. And so this one we're going to go through first. This is the Mac. As you can see, it folds flat, but it doesn't really stand up unless it's leaning against something that's going to fall apart or fall down. So the first thing we're going to do here is snap it from its case. Okay, so this thing weighs about 22 and a half pounds. It has a capacity of 150 pounds. And the dimensions on the inside, let's show the dimensions on the inside, are 33 inches long by 17 and a half inches wide by 10 inches high. So the handle on the front, <coughs> you see the handle on the front, it's closed. <coughs> and it's got a Clip. Why don't we come around here and show the clip? There's a clip that holds this in place, and depending on how strongly that that grabs a hold, it'll hold it in place. But this does slip a little bit. <coughs> um, it has a couple of storage pockets in the front, right here for drinks, I guess. And this is supposed to be 600, it says durable 600 denier polyester fabric. That's what they say it's made of. Um, it feels kind of soft and we'll talk about that in the other one. And there's a pad on the inside that's actually sewn into this that's kind of soft. It's not a separate pad, it's sewn right in. And this thing runs about 70 to 80 bucks typically. Sam's Club sells it for about uh, $57. Okay, so that's that one. And we'll show now the, um, the Ozark Trail model of this. So as you can see, this one stands up by itself. Let me unwrap it. Folds out kind of like an accordion, like that. Um, this one's about 26 pounds, it carries about 225 pounds, and the dimensions are slightly bigger, 35 inches long, 17 and a half inches wide, 12 inches high. On the front, it's got a T handle. There's a T handle on this. And there are locking buttons here, so it locks in place. It doesn't slip like the other, uh, the, the Mac. It doesn't have any storage pockets on the front. Um, and the material is similar to the, to the other one, except it's a little bit heavier. It feels, it feels like a heavier material, a sturdier material. And then there's a pad. <coughs> a separate pad that's in the pocket. That you unfold and you stick on the inside. <laughs> and that's a little sturdier. This one runs about 60 bucks and you get it at Walmart. So if we put both of them together, here we put them side by side. Here. And we'll tell you the good parts and bad parts, I guess, of each one of them. The, um, both of them have a similar design. They come in blue and red colors. There's a carrying bag for each of them. <clears throat> the handle doesn't connect. If you look at the handles in the front here, the handles don't connect to an axle that would go, go to the wheel here. There was an axle between here and the handle. It doesn't connect. But it, is, it doesn't seem to affect the... the um, steerability or navigation of it. The back wheels are locked, so 
the front wheels move independently, but it, it doesn't seem to affect the steering all that much. Seven inch heavy duty rubber wheels. Now, <clears throat> so the Mac, which is the blue one here, this one's easier to fold, but it doesn't stand up. It weighs three pounds less than the other one. It has more storage pockets and it has a full circle handle. <clears throat> this one has the T handle as, as uh, we had shown before. So that's a little, a little more difficult to deal with. But this one carries, set, this is the Ozark Trail one. This one carries 75 pounds more. It has a 50% greater capacity. It's a tiny bit larger on the inside. The construction, both the frame and the fabric, uh, seem a bit sturdier and more durable than the Mac. The handle locks a little bit better and it tends to be cheaper at most retailers except we, if you go to Sam's Club you can get one for about a comparable price but otherwise that one runs the Mac runs about 70 or 80 bucks.